In this video, we are going to integrate Standard Time with QuickBooks. You can see from this view here that I have no projects currently in my timesheet. If I go to Tools, Projects, uh, the list is empty. So what I want to do is bring in the customers and jobs from QuickBooks so that I can begin to track time to them. So the first step to do that would be go to the Tools menu, choose QuickBooks, and then choose Import Customers and Items. When I choose that, this dialog box pops up and it tells me that it's going to transfer the customers, jobs, and service items from QuickBooks to Standard Time. That will allow me to track time to them. You can see that the Customer colon Job field in QuickBooks maps to our Project field, and the Service Item in QuickBooks maps to our Category. So just make sure that QuickBooks is up and running before you start this process. So I've switched over to QuickBooks and the first thing I actually want to do here is go into the Customer Center, uh, take a look at all my customers and jobs. You can see the list here. These are all my clients that I do work for. So one of the things you might want to do is go through each one of these and just make sure that they are active or inactive if you're not using them so that they don't come over into standard time because standard time is going to bring in a list of all the active customers and jobs. You might also want to go to the item list. Uh, we talked about how the service items map to the standard time categories. Uh, so here you see a list of all of these service items. These are the kinds of work that you do. They all have a price so that you can put those on the invoices. You might consider also deactivating any items that um, you're not using. So that might be the first step to um, preparing for this integration with Standard Time. One of the first things that we see when we go to import the customer's jobs and items is that we have to grant permission to Standard Time, and that is in QuickBooks. So as soon as we click this button, we then see that QuickBooks wants to um, allow us to grant permission. So we click Yes, Always, Continue. Are you sure you want to allow this access? Yes. And it tells that this is Standard Time in Scout West. We click Done. And so now we have loud access and standard time is able to continue and we've imported our lists. So we want to go to the tools menu and choose projects and also to the tools menu and choose categories to see these imported items. So after the import let's go to the tools menu choose projects uh, we can see that all of these new items were imported. I'm going to go and show them in the timesheet so that I can put time against them. We now see them show up in the timesheet. If I go to the Tools menu, choose Categories, remember that the service items are mapped to categories. I see that these were imported. If I were to open up one of these in the Standard Time timesheet, I see these categories under each of the projects. I've entered some time against uh, some of these projects. You see the projects here and then the categories below them. They map to the customer colon job and then to the service item over in QuickBooks. So you see the hours I've put against my project. I've got my daily totals down below and the weekly total here. So the next thing I'm going to go do is go to Tools, QuickBooks, Export Time. So when I do that, I then have the ability to choose a date range that represents the billing period that I'm going to bill. In this case, it's the 1st through the 15th. The next thing I want to do is assign users. So this is a mapping between the Standard Time username and the QuickBooks employee. And so I have mapped this particular uh, user to the QuickBooks employee. Click OK here, and then click Export. So now I have exported 11 records over to QuickBooks. 
Okay, so let's go over to the QuickBooks program, uh, go to the Employee Center to see where the time came in. I'm going to click on this employee, go up here and choose Use Weekly Timesheet. You can see all of the entries that I had in the Standard Time Timesheet. Make sure that they are marked as billable. And then you can click Save and Close if you make any changes there. Uh, you can, if you like, go up to the uh, Customers menu and choose Create Invoices. Choose the customer colon job that you're going to uh, create the invoice for. <coughs> and we can then uh, select all of the time, put that on our invoice, and then save and close to run that invoice. So we're back to standard time. Uh, hopefully you understand the full round trip message here where we import our customers jobs and items from QuickBooks. We then put our time into the timesheet. You can see our daily and weekly totals and then we go and export that time over to QuickBooks which we can use for payroll and for invoicing clients. So hopefully this little uh, tutorial has been helpful.